Good morning. It's Tuesday, April 14th, and in about an hour, I present my master's thesis defense. Ooh, I'm excited and a little nervous, and I prayed a lot this morning just for peace, and I am excited. So, this morning, I really, really enjoyed my devotional. It was about um, a verse in John where Jesus says, my sheep follow me and they know my voice. And this just got me to thinking of, we, we want to hear from God. We want to hear, um, we want to hear what he wants us to do. And we want to be a part of the adventure and um, that he has for our lives. And we want to live with purpose. But what does it look like to listen to him? And I know some um, people, I don't think most hear an audible voice, um, but I th maybe some have. Um, but we can always start by reading the Bible, and he gives us a lot of um, just things that we can start with. Um, loving our neighbor, um, giving, all these different things we can do that he has already asked us to do through his word. And we can ask for his help to do those things because when we start to just do them out of obligation, I think it loses its beauty. But when he really puts a heart in us to do, um, do his work, then it's really neat because he enables and equips us and gives us the passion and desire. And he uses our gifts and it's just really neat. So we can start by reading his word and seeing what that says. And then I think if you've ever had like that inner prompting or um, it almost feels like your conscience or like an urge, um, sometimes I'll see someone and I'll just get this feeling like go over there and um, oftentimes they'll just open up right away about something going on in their lives and it gives us an opportunity to pray or I ask them if they would like prayer and that's really really neat because oftentimes people um, will take that up that's a beautiful way to when when you hear and that's um, actually the prompting of the Holy Spirit oftentimes which is really neat and then um, as you begin to to notice that I think you become more aware of it and um, God continues to, to prompt you and as long as you follow that even though it might be weird then it's awesome. You get to be a part of that plan. My, uh, a girl in my Bible study told me this story of she felt God prompting her to go get ice cream and she, she has followed God for a while so she just went and bought ice cream and that night a couple that her and her husband were um, kind of discipling mentoring were having problems and they said we're only going to come over if you have ice cream and I just think that's the neatest story because God I think can ask us to do just interesting things that don't always make sense or might be awkward or um, just silly almost but he has a reason and then when we get to be a part of it that's just I mean it just increases your faith so much so I love that story and I love that we are Jesus's sheep and we get to listen to him and I just pray today that um, you'd be able to find some time to rest and um, listen to him through his word and just through prayer and I just pray that um, you would just walk in that today. So have a wonderful Tuesday. I'll let you know if I pass my master's thesis tomorrow. Um, and thank you for the prayers and thanks for listening.